Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Pitch Black Dungeon. So we're in the Warrens. We're here to scout 80% of the rooms, and we've got our A team on. So let's be on our way. We've used up all our firewood, so this is our last uh, day on this trip. I haven't actually run into all that much along here, to be honest. Certainly it hasn't gone as badly for us as the... Rude. Um, as some of our previous expeditions have gone on. Maybe the A team's just lucky. Who knows? Honestly, I think it's just that having the Vestal on the team is just really good, because Vestals are really strong. And Crusaders are also really good. We should probably not have Renault open everything we run into, because her stress is quite high. Um, and I don't want her to... Hey! Oh, cool, we got one of these small daggers. Nice. And we ran into a trap that did nothing. i learn you. Okay, well, uh, we're done, and we're getting scouting. Is there anything worth going to? Ooh, treasure room. Alright, let's head up to that treasure room. We may as well explore the rest of this, since we're, uh, you know, we're at full health, and we're doing pretty good on stress. Let's see what we can get out of it. Poke the books. Glad I didn't have Renault take that, because that would have put her up to, like, 99 stress. Alright, what are we fighting here? Cultists. Skilled cultist. Inspirational cultist. Alright, so we want the inspirational one dead first. So let's get, uh... Get Dismas all set up to do some damage. Please don't stress my crusader. Hey, I'm not entirely sure how you dodge a incantation, but... Reynolds got it going. Reynolds also probably... Plus 10% damage received. Oh, stress damage? Oh, that's not good. Alright, well, let's see here. Alright, let's get a stun on you, because I don't like you. You look like you do a lot of damage, and I don't want that. And then Renold, same deal. Not what I was hoping for there. I'm just gonna focus about a lot of damage on this guy. Yeah, jeez, that guy's doing a good job of not dying, which is kind of annoying. Alright. Okay, she's getting low, which is good, because I want to get the buff off of these two guys. Because that plus 20% crit plus 10% damage is, uh, or no, other way around, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit too much, in my opinion. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's not good. Alright, well, we've got the Vestal on hand, so... It's not the worst thing in the world, but it's still not great. Fortunately, all of this is getting focused on Renault, who is... Supremely capable of just taking the damage. Alright, one more shot on you. Ugh. Oof. At least no more bleed. Ah. Keep on healing. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered picture. And battle. let's see if we can't get some blight on you for the kill. Yes, alright, so she's dead. He's also dead, because Renold hits like a truck. And we got a bunch of stress healing off of that. Alright, uh let's see if we can't get our vessel another turn. Give us a chance to heal Renold one more. Nope. Slow death. Ah well. Unforeseen. Can't win them all. Okay, let's get ourselves back in position. And we don't have any bandages or anything, do we? Nope. Alright, well, on we go. We're just gonna go check out the treasure room and then head back. I don't know that there's, uh... As the well, we'll see how we're looking, because we're gonna have to fight at least one more battle. And purpose is made clear. Uh, at least one more battle for the treasure. And depending on how we're looking after that, we might want to turn back, or we might want to go check out what's at the end of the other dead-end hallway. For now, Senless, if you don't mind poking a dead body for me. It's full of gold and a painting. Interesting. Not what I would have expected, but I'll take it. Okay, one more torch, and we're about to run into... Thick-headed Swine Chopper. Oh, that's the super stun resist. That's unfortunate. Uh, you are the one that needs to go away. Okay, there we 
we've got our buff, and let's get some more healing on Ronald while we've got a chance. That's what I'm looking for. Get all of our health back. Ah, you dick. Oh, it's a charming swine chopper again. Or swine brummer. Okay. I'm not sure what happens if we retreat from battle while Renold is charmed. Quickly the tide turns. God damn it. Okay, that charming thing is very, very annoying. Because it, like, it's just like, hey, one of your people is now on our team. Great, thanks. Uh... Okay, well, no, oh, I can't stun Renald. Damn it. Okay, well, stun you at least, hopefully. Nope. Okay, there we go. Got the stun. Good, good. All right. How long is Renald turned for? Is the important question. So we just need to survive that long at least. Ugh. Ugh. Is going less than good. God, that that charming buff is just so devastating, though. All right, you need to heal yourself. Like, jeez. Please don't. Okay. The walls close in. Can you stop being like charmed now and stop injuring everybody and getting injured in return? That would be. Fantastic. Alright, let's just keep dropping stuns on people here. Just try and survive until Renault is back on our side. Okay, there we go. Alright, I think we just want to back out of this fight. I think that's probably the best. Renault doesn't want to back out of the fight. Okay. Uh, that's good. That's great. No, don't beguile my Vestal. Oh, you dick. Uh, oh, Ronald can't do anything because she's in the way back. Oh, we can't retreat. And we can't heal. This has just gone from bad to worse, and everything was looking so good a minute ago. We started this fight at, like, full health. Please heal yourself. Please heal yourself. Please heal- no! Damn it. Uh, oh, and he resisted the bleed, too. Fantastic. Alright, well, um... Mark yourself. Hopefully we can draw some fire onto her and all. She's got the health to survive it. Temporarily. To it. Just need the Vestal back so we can try and retreat again. Uh, yeah, let's just stun the Vestal. Hopefully she can... Can we stop her from healing anybody before we get out of here? Injury and okay, good. Set the stage for heroism or okay. cowardice. No, you dicks. Ugh, Ronald, why are you causing me so much trouble today? Oh my god, no! <laughs> okay, thank god. And Ronald just backed up a step, so now she can't do anything. Great. So one of our characters might get a turn. Okay, sweet Jesus. But the battle may yet be won. All right, that that beguiling buff is absolutely brutal. That is disgusting. Let's get the hell out of here. We're just gonna head home. All right, what do we get out of this? Well, we did get the book, which is good. That'll be a good thing to have. We got a decent amount of gold. We got a single other portrait. Wow, we did not get a lot of stuff out of this. I guess it was kind of a dead quest. Not a lot happened. Oh, but Dismas leveled up. Oh, Dismas and Renault leveled up. In truth, I cannot tell how much time has passed since I sent that letter. Okay, um, so the tavern is locked. A particularly nasty bar fight has left some bodies and stenches. It will be a few days before the tavern is normal. 
great, um, because we actually need stress healing now. Uh, let's see. So, Moyan is still, hang on. Where, eh, where's the thing? There it is. Refuses to stop meditating. Great, okay, so he's just in the meditation thing and just doesn't want to leave. Um, which is good, because his team is actually up for the next mission. Great. Uh, let's see. So we're gonna need to send Renold. Oh, good. And the caretaker is using one of the other things. So we can only have one person stress heal this week. Because everything else is occupied. Well, um... I guess Renold can go. Here you go, Renold. Go pray to a higher power. Um... Send Senless to go get treated for... What disease do you actually have? Lethargy. Minus 5 speed. Minus 5 speed on first round. Yeah, that's actually not terrible. What about you, Hediart? Yeah, Hediart's thing needs to get cured. There you go. Get that fixed up. Alright. Uh, what else can we do? We need to work out what we're going to do with our two abominations. Because as it stands, we've got... One, two, three, four. We have six. Yeah, we have six religious characters. Ugh. All right, you know what? We're just going to ditch the abominations because we can't bring them anywhere. So uh, we're just dismiss. How do I dismiss? Oh, here we go. Yeah, we're just going to have to send them away and recruit new ones. Turn yourself now to the condition of those poor devils who remain. All right, what do we got? Hey, we got another Vestal. I will drop you into the third, into the fourth team. Yeah, fourth team. Uh, and I will also drop the Arbalest into the fourth team. And then we have a Flagellant to start the fifth team with. Good, good. All right. So take this opportunity to look at everyone's skills, because Dismas actually leveled up, although I don't think we have enough money to do anything about that at the moment. Let me just see. None of you are carrying artifacts, are you? No, you aren't. All right. Well, fortunately, these guys are going to have a few weeks to recover, hopefully, so we can get our other teams functional. You have plus three speed, minus ten accuracy, minus ten percent. Okay, that's actually not terrible. Uh, da, 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 da. So, what has our Arbalest got? We want her to have abilities that she can use from the third row, and she's got a heal as well. So that's pretty good. And our Vestal has all of her backline abilities. She actually has the perfect setup right now. Okay, perfect. So you're from the front line, yes. Oh wow, your abilities just work everywhere. Can probably get you some more damage, honestly. Heal one point round for two rounds. Bleed three points per round for three rounds. Okay. Uh, heal 33% max HP. Okay, that seems pretty good. So we'll hang on to that, but I want to swap out Reclaim for Exsanguinate. Oh, that also has a heal. Yeah, that actually seems pretty good. So let's go to the guild real quick. And we will grab you. Oh, geez, these are expensive to train. Alright, we'll hang off on those for a bit until we get a little bit more progress. Uh, we should look at, though, upgrading some things while we're here. So we upgraded the armor, right? Okay, we can't upgrade that. Uh, we can't upgrade the stagecoach. Well, we could, but I don't really want to spend 5,000 gold for another three heroes. I think we're okay with the amount we have at the moment. Uh, the guild. We cannot upgrade anything there. We could upgrade the survivalist, which would be good, because, um, it seems like all of the missions have bonfires in them now. Uh, is there anything worth saving up for? That's the real question. Getting our stress thing upgraded would certainly help. And getting the sanitarium upgraded would also certainly help. Yeah, these are all good. I might save up to get disease treatment cost reduction. So we'll hang on for that instead. Well, um... The previous expedition didn't take all that long, so I guess we can get started on the next one. Who are we sending on that one? Rathgeber, Malali, Mandeville, and Croc. Ugh, Malali's stress is really high. 
I really wish Moyon would stop meditating. He's been meditating for three weeks now. It's a little bit ridiculous. Either way, let's embark. So first off, let's grab you guys some items, because we have a few floating around. Like this. Which one of you has the best scouting chance? I'm actually not sure how to check scouting chance. Okay, whatever. I will give it to... Yeah, I'll just give it to you, I guess. Minus one speed is a shame, but you also have the highest trap disarm, so... May as well. And let's see what kind of gear we want to bring. Well, what kind of missions do we have available? Hey, we finally got the wardens up to level one. So, we need more portraits still. We always need more portraits. That mission would actually be exactly what we're looking for. Five portraits. This one would give us two, and give us an eye patch that we can't use. Okay. Yeah, so we want to do this one, and we want to not send you guys, because you're all going to be at home healing. Oh, this is going to go terribly. Mallory's going to get freaking... going to go insane on, like, the second day. All right. Get some provisions sorted, at least. Oh, this is going to be, like, a three-day assignment. All right, we're going to need a lot of supplies for this one. Ooh, can we even supply this one? So we're going to want about eight food per day. And then... Let's buy our other supplies before we worry about that. And eight torches per day as well. Actually, we can... We haven't really been using all our torches. Do we want to risk it, though, is the question. Uh, let's bump it up to 20. Make me feel better. Uh, we also need tor er, shovels, because we're going to the Warrens. That's literally all we can afford. Alright. Oh, wow. We started off with scouting. Great. And both these rooms are empty. How many rooms do we actually have to go through here? And we have to do all of the battles as well, so this is going to be a tough one. Well, it doesn't mean we can avoid this hallway, because there's no, no room battle down there. Um, so many rooms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Jeez. Alright, so 5 a day, I guess. Jeez. Ooh. Oh, alright. Waiting to be spent. Well, we already got a decent amount of gold out of this. Now, where's this trap? Chunk. This is what we bring the Hellion for, I guess. Because this party doesn't have anyone else to disarm traps. Come on, more scouting. Nope, no luck. Oh, well, we just have to go in a little bit blind here. There we go. Alright, it doesn't really matter if the Vessel and Occultus swap around, because they can both do their abilities from wherever. Uh, let's not plus three... Um, yeah, let's not plus three stress everybody. Let's instead just... Retaliating Brigand Cutthroat. Alright, let's reduce... Your damage. And you... Oh, you can't use Illumination. Alright, you're gonna have to swap forward then, since we don't need healing desperately this turn. Yet. Alright. Let's try and get rid of this dude at the back. There we go. Another good hit like that should put him down. And you... Just chop at them, honestly. Ooh, mark self. And do you have target minus 20% damage? Yep, I like that. Smack. That'll learn you. Clarified in a single strike. That's not good. Yep, that's kind of how I figured this expedition was going to start. Okay. We got a bunch of reduced damage and accuracy on him, so yeah, there we go. That'll learn you. Alright. Get rid of that guy. Thank you. Uh, let's continue reducing people's damage, like so. Leper. He's probably unhappy about things, but 
he's just gonna have to put up with that. Fortunately, he does a lot of damage, and we have a healer on staff, so... Yeah. Eh. That one bleed per round. Oh, and our Occultist stress is also getting kind of high. Well, let's reduce your dodge, because you actually have dodge. There you go. And Vestal, you can just heal everybody up. Bing. And let's continue. Ah, we can only hit the front guy. Alright. Well, let's get this one going. Get a bunch of bleed on him. Nope, you're resisted. Crud. Alright, well. Ugh. I'm glad we were just damaged, because he's still doing a lot of hurt. And I really do not need everybody to be bleeding, either. Oh, jeez. Alright, go for it. There we go. I mean, we're doing a ton of hurt to him, but he's just got a lot of health. Um, he also no longer has his damage debuff, so let's throw that on again. Thank you. And the Vestal, you should probably just... Eh, everybody really needs healing, but the Leper needs healing more. Okay, what are you doing? Death is inevitable, but the cause is my choice alone. Oh, he's just swapping with the Hellion. Alright. And we can't move him back. Whatever. That's fine. Because the Hellion can still hit things from back here. Hmm, he's going to retaliate if we hit him. But, we've also got a decent chance. Hey, we dodged. Alright, fantastic. Okay, good. And he's also bleeding for a lot of damage, actually. Three, three damage per round. Oh, our Occultist is in a bad way, though. And the Leper is just stacking up that stress. Already up to 128 out of 200. Alright, let's... Actually... Oh, no, we can't hit him with that. Okay. Oh, that guy's so low. Alright, we need healing on everybody. A little bit more healing on that would be appreciated, but I guess it works for now. Okay, he's gonna die in his next turn, so we no longer need to worry about him. Uh, let's have the Occultist heal himself, maybe. Yeah, it's a little bit. And he resisted the bleed, too. That's good. And the Leper can also heal himself. Hey! Nice dodge. Alright, so that guy's gonna die. That guy's got two health left. And is about to die. Thank you. Okay, we've got one chance here. We can try and use weird reconstruction on somebody. Uh, I guess the Hellion. There we go. And she resisted the bleed. Okay, and we get another heal in here. Well, let's throw it on the Leper, because he's currently got a buff to healing. Vestal's not doing great on the heal rolls. Oh well. Such is life. Hello. Plus 10% max HP, plus 10% protection, minus 3 speed. That should go to the leper. Can I give it to the leper? No? I guess I... Oh wait, hang on. There we go. Drag it in like that. Perfect. Alright, let's make it to the next room. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, we should swap the leper back a space as well. I almost forgot about that. Hello, items. Uh, Vestal, you have the least stress. Go poke the books. They mean nothing. Okay, cool. And this room is empty. And that is where we are going to call it for today. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.